There was one other team that was uh, also on a big losing streak going mm. into this weekend, um, but they're called the Warriors, and they actually <laughs> did. <laughs> they actually <laughs> broke their losing streak too against who else? Who better than to beat than the Panthers? Yeah, oh, well, you just heard Willie speaking about chasing the win. Uh, when you're under pressure, you can't afford, when you're playing against the Premier Panthers, to turn up and just play negative. You have to go after the opposition. And this is what the Warriors did, I think, from the get-go. Uh, again, the first most probably set wasn't the best. Kick it out on the full. Penrith go down there, they score a try, they sit back, and it's most probably in their minds they're going, oh, not this again. But the credit to those guys and the players and the team that they turned that around. Uh, they went after the Penrith Panthers, which they had to. Uh, their, be- their back five are, are some of the best back five in the competition right up there with the Cronulla Sharks and what they do. Dylan Edwards is, is, has been a big performer. Luai was really good for them as well. And, and at some stages there, I think, you know, fans would have been, it would have been on the edge of your seat most of the game uh, because some of the tries you thought that the pen have scored that they could have been stopped or they made a wrong decision. But you kind of let that slip when you know that they're pretty much depleted of players and in and out of positions. Uh, but a credit to all the Warriors players, I think the young boys that come in, you know, Paulie Roach was enormous, um, enormous for the Warriors. Two minutes of NRL time um, this year and then comes on and plays the biggest minutes he's played in a long time and did not look out of place. Loved his service off the ground both ways. He didn't overplay his hand, he just got his job done, which was get the ball to where you needed to get to. If you play short, you play short early. Uh, defensively, be strong through the middle. He was whacking guys, and they had to collectively as a, as a team. I thought Dylan Walker through the middle to replace um, Tohu Harris, like, we needed someone like him to have a big game, um, and, and I thought he did with his skill and his, his options around, but I also like the way that they attack both sides. Uh, we, we've spoken about it before, that their predictability, with Sean being on the right-hand side, and all the teams just marking up on them. They scored t- tries on both sides yesterday, which was good. I think, you know, Tamaide being able to swing around. We also spoke about Tamaide and him, when he's playing his best rugby league, it's when he's running the ball, playing some football, um, he had to stand up yesterday and I thought he did really well. I thought he was a big part of you know the game. I thought Chance was outstanding at six. Always was going to be a running six, yeah, like, you know, but the options to run and then the options to pass and, and have some try assists was outstanding. And then Tane to Opiki, I thought, man, what a, what a... And we've seen what Tane can do for the NRL this year, for the Warriors this year, yeah. and he's a great replacement to put in the back. He's safe, he's reliable. Yes, he's a smaller body, but he loves getting busy and, and, and working really hard. Scored a nice try, and then had to kick a conversion from pretty much nearly the sideline to go and you know <laughs> take the lead, and any any iced it. And I know that his partner is about to have a baby, and I know he was in doubt. Um, hence why Ben Far was Ben Far was on board as well as 18th man. So man, what a Enormous win for the Warriors up against the Penrith Panthers who have class all over the field who could have taken the game to a draw and gone into golden golden points. And the fans would have been happy if the Warriors lost their game after the performance they put in. But to win the game, man, the fans were, were stoked with that, that's for sure. Yeah, I totally agree. There was a couple of reasons why I thought this was an important one for, for the Warriors. Um, their... Chances of making the playoffs were hanging by a lifeline had they not got this one. But then with all the changes and the young fellas stepping up just said so much about him. I thought Ali Leotoa, yeah. Adam Pompey, Tainto Opiki, um, Chance and um, Tamaiti really stood up and, and took the ball by the horns. There's an element sometimes when you're in that position that you need an opposition like the Panthers to be off. Mm. And this has taken no credit away from the Warriors. But the Panthers were off. They played laterally, coming out of their own line. They did a lot of things you don't see them do. How often do you see James Fisher-Harris get the ball on last play and yep. try and throw it out and it ends up in touch? Never. Not, not from the Panthers. <coughs> Excuse me. But they forced them into that. And sometimes when you score a try early, you feel like, oh, all right, we're going to cruise today. And I think there was a bit of complacency mm. in the Panthers and the Warriors needed to and did it really well to pounce on it and make them count. Talking about them playing both sides of the ball, I thought both halfbacks did a really good job of playing nice and straight. We're just talking about uh, back rowers getting inside three men, getting inside the halfbacks. 
Bryce Barnett mm. and uh, Ford and Jackson Ford and did Jackie a, Laban did, ran hard lines off the halfbacks playing nice and straight. The last try for Ali Lauta, um Jerome Lua has to bite in really hard. Yeah. Mm. Can't get off. Ali walks in. Nice try. Just playing nice and straight, nice and direct. Doing your job and holding mm. those defenders. Again, you don't see Penrith concede easy tries like that or walk-ins like that. But they built it up nicely. They, de- they played the game nice and square, nice and straight. Did Just did their jobs really well. But they did it with the youthful exuberance. They did it with the energy that young fellas can bring. So, yeah, it's, um, one of the best wins for the Warriors, mm. I think, for a long, long time. Under all circumstances, taking everything into account, that was a big, big win for them. And congratulations to Coach Webster and his side. Uh, they got to grow from that. And the young guys will take a lot of confidence when called upon again. But, yeah, Paulie Roach, outstanding when he came on. Did nothing wrong. Just did his job and did it perfectly. I think, you know, what we've what we've missed from the Warriors exactly the intent and what they ran things with yesterday. Um, when they challenge the line with the ball, that is if you're running the ball, you're taking it to the line. The option of your back row is running the right lines, um, but actually turning defenders in. Adam Pompey scores a similar try yep. because everyone's running the correct lines, but they're running it at speed. You know, Tamati's going closer to the line. There's options at the back to play it play out the chance on that sweep line. And then Adam Pompey just running. I think Ali got through twice. One, he scores a try. The other one, he breaks the line. Yeah, yeah. And it's just because we're, they were digging into the line and playing those options, making defenders actually have to make decisions. Pre this weekend's game, I don't think they've done that consistently enough. Start of the year, we've seen a bit of that. Then they went away from the energy that they had. But they had to have this energy in this game because they were coming up against the Premier Panthers. If they didn't have the energy, they didn't have an intent in what they were doing, it was gonna it would have no. been a, they would have got schooled. Um yes, the Penrith Panthers were off. They're dropping balls like nothing. I think there were ten errors in the first half. That's un Penrith like. Um I seen the I watched most of the the, the coaches press press conference. Uh, most of the teams that lost were about two minutes thirty. Uh, in, in the conference. Normally they get to about six to seven minutes. Um this the the lesser teams that lose, or the teams that lose about five, but on the weekend, magic round, two minutes 30. So a lot of disappointment, especially at the Penrith Panthers, they just weren't good yep. enough. They didn't turn Don't up. Yes, we talk about complacency. You score your first try, it looked easy as. Dylan, yep. Dylan mm. Edwards just shoals over, he scores a try easily. But really liked what the Warriors did with the energy, needed to be done. Jazz Tavanga, got to give that fellow a mention, come yep. off the bench and hold. He was enormous. Went after the game. And yep. that's what you have to do. You like Went after them with their defence. That's what's been lacking. I think they just honed back on the the areas that they're good at and just went up a gear in that area. And that's what they needed to do. He come on, went after it. I think he hit 21 runs for 150 metres off the bench. Um, enormous game and everyone just done their jobs. I think that was one of the areas the Warriors did beat Penrith in as well, was on the bench. Mm. Their bench was so much better. Yeah. And then Moses Leota is usually very, very good, yeah. but off the bench, pretty passive, I thought. Yeah. For him. Yeah. How about that hit from Pompey on Jack Cole as well? That was pretty funny. Uh, when, was, when, oh, yeah. I think when he destroyed his intestines and all that, and he just had to have a <coughs> chunder on the field. Yeah, vomited everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, so good work, Warriors. I'm not really a Warriors fan, but Dylan is a Warriors <laughs> fan. I am a Warriors fan. Hey, just one more thing. I just want you guys to touch on some of the character that it takes. Like, a lot of young guys in the team to, to get up for that, for that mm. game, but also... Touch on the the leadership side because obviously there are only a few. Um, there's a lot of adversity. There are a lot of um, there are only a few leaders in there left on the paddock. Can you just touch on what that kind of means? The character it takes to to get through a game like that um, with all that adversity. Yeah, I've played in a similar game for the Warriors. We played against the Melbourne Storm and we were down on troops. I think Tori Harris played in the sixth position. I was inside him <laughs> as a back rower and. We should have won that game on the day. Uh, I think there was 30 seconds to go, and the ref gave us that gave them a penalty, pretty much just to the right of the post. And Cameron Smith kicks the goal to win it. Um, and I think when it when it comes down to those games where you're down on troops, it actually, I guess, simplifies your role and, and it makes your role a lot clearer as a player because you don't have the experience of the players around you to guide you through those things. So if you get your direct messages from the coach, normally it's run hard, tackle hard. You know, run hard, tackle a simple message like 
get your job done and I just want you to run the boy as hard as you can and when it's time to defend, make your tackles. That's the real simple message because I think, I guess like you said, there's, there wasn't too many leaders out there. The captain goes off really early in the game and he, he a lot of the tackle would most probably would have come off him as well but they had to change that up. Mitch Barnett, obviously been a big part of the Warriors and he's a leader out there. So a lot of yesterday and when you play these games is action-based. Uh, it's not It's not about the talking because you're down on truth when it comes to leadership. It's action-based. It's what are you going to do individually to get to bring to the team that's going to inspire your teammates? And I think those are the efforts that we saw yesterday. The tackling from Jazz coming off the bench, the intent that Mitch Barnett runs out, runs out the the, I guess the enthusiasm of these young kids coming on the field and then just getting your job done, Paul Roach. Um, so really important in these situations when you play in these kind of games where you're down on troop, it's just to simplify your role and then get your job done and then go up another gear. The big moment for me was when Isaiah Yo strolls in and scores. Mm. Mm. You could easily think, and Blairy alluded to it, the fans would have been happy with the Warriors yeah. at mm. that point. Had they not gone on and won it, geez, mm. they were spirited today. Mm. But I thought at that time, the guys like Dylan Walker and Mitch Barnett really stood up behind the post and say, mm. said, we've got a couple of minutes here, we can still get this. And the young fellas and their exuberance and their youth want us just, yeah, let's go. Let's yep. have a crack at this and see what happens. What happened? They got the win. So I thought that was a big moment, a big turning point for the leadership. Mm. But also for the for the young guys to to say, all right, we'll, we'll challenge you. And I, I'm sure Penrith had a bit of, hey, we've won this game now. Yep. Isaiah, yo, mm. and the Warriors had had a little bit to say about that, and good on them. Yeah, yeah. Even as a non fan, um, when I was watching, you're a Penrith fan, though, aren't you? Uh, well, you're a Tigers New, fan, uh, St at George the fan, New South at the Redcliffe. Moment, Redcliffe. <laughs> I was eating McDonald's uh, oh. <laughs> at the end Must of the game, nice. and my McChicken was tasting like hopes and dreams when Tane <laughs> uh, scored that try and converted it. <laughs> hey, just quickly, what, what we, at the end of the game, um, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. It's that they take the two points. Yeah, you're not a fan. What What are we feeling as 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 fans watching the game? Anyway, I, I like. Me and my little fella were sitting there. He's going, I look at the stats and watch this kicking through the game. I thought, yeah, we're a chance. He's going to miss this. Yeah. Um, did you guys think the same? I thought he was going to miss. Yeah. It wasn't until they panned out to the wide shot and I saw how yes, far it was. Yeah, it was, it was like normal I thought, oh, this yeah. is a fair way out here. Mm. Yeah. And I, I didn't have a lot of confidence in Dylan Edwards at that moment. I thought it, it kind of looked like it went over from the side. And I was like, oh, man, I really thought it was going to miss. And then the commentator was like, he's missed. And I was like, oh, he did miss. So, yeah. Okay. Disappointing. <laughs> <but being laughs> <mean>. Disappointing. Oh. <laughs>